Okay, we are here again ready for the show that takes yeah. a look at the celebration side of life. A warm welcome and thank you so much for tuning in. Now, as always, we have a great lineup of events, mm -hmm. interesting ones at that for your viewing pleasure. But by the way, I want to use this opportunity to wish women all over the world mm -hmm. happy International Women's Day to all the beautiful women and hardworking ones at that. Yes, everyone who is contributing in their own little yeah. way, impacting the lives of other women and supporting other women. They say women don't support themselves, but well, I believe some of, some of us do support yeah. other women. So for all those doing great, well done. But this is to remind all our sensitive viewers also that some of the images you might be seeing on the show today might contain flash photography. But Oge said before, we have a great lineup for you today. So sure just do. stay there and let's have this 30 minutes of fun together. I'm Anne Wawadu. And I'm Oge Chikwosi. Welcome to the show. Chief Olushago Basunjo no doubt had a time of his life last week as dignitaries from around the world gathered to celebrate him at 80. Now, part of activity was the official opening of his presidential library in Abiokuta and then a grand dinner right here in Lagos. Now, Metrofa was there and we captured all the moment. Enjoy. The red carpet is laid at the Eco Hotel and Suites and it's your welcome guests to the 80th birthday dinner for Chief Olushegu Okikiola Aremu Obasanjo, former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As they arrive, they feed their eyes on memorable pictures taken at different stages of his life. This is a celebration to end the week-long events to honor him, and it starts with a cocktail. Guests are then moved into the main hall as they await the arrival of the celebrant. Display are many of the things Chief Olusha Mwabasinjo represents, his most cherished possessions. At this moment, the celebrant arrives, and beside him is his wife, Bola and very distinguished personalities across Africa. He goes on a quick tour of his memorabilia. The life of Chief Lucia Gumbasanjo is a rich story, a beautiful one at that. Gumbasanjo in prison. Oh my God. Sorry for you. <laughs> Obasan job with his friends. Obasan job the military man. Obasan job the democratically elected president. Obasan job the farmer. and Obasanjo the family man. After the tour, he meets his guests as they get on their feet to welcome him. In this hall are very distinguished personalities like the President of Liberia and Chairperson of ECOWAS, Mrs. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Mr. Ernest Kuruma, former President of Malawi, Mrs. Joyce Banda, the former President of the Republic of Bene, Mr. Boni Yayi, the Oni of Ife, Obadeyeyi Enito Wusi, Ojaja II and his Oluri, Wuraula, Nigeria Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki and wife Toyi, State governors across Nigeria, former governors, captains of industry, 
and other important guests. His son, Lieutenant Colonel Adeboyo Basanjo, welcomes the guests as he talks about his father. Daddy will say you must be responsible, you must be accountable. For every one error, every two error that is on your list, you must defend it. And when you cannot defend it, you can be sure the black barrel will go across and slash it like this, like that. Chief Olusha Gombasujo steps up to cut his cake, accompanied by his wife and other prominent guests. 4 Basajo means many things to different people. The goodwill messages are full of tributes to the celebrant. President Obasanjo has stood out as a leader. There's not a single ECOWAS country or African Union country who's not been touched by his leadership. On behalf of myself, my family, the government and the people of Sierra Leone, Baba, we want to say thank you. A big thank you for what you have done for Sierra Leone. I don't know if there's anybody else on this continent who knows each country in detail like he does. He has told us on this forum that his concern his peace and security on the continent of Africa. So he's not only an asset to Nigeria, he spends sleepless nights thinking about the rest of the continent. Well, I thank you. you did, he did a lot of things for me. He, has, he did assist me during my 10 years at the head of Benin. So I think that when I see you today, I think I'm praying once again. God bless you forever. More goodwill messages from the governors, the Senate, Forbes, richest man in Africa, Aliko Dangote. Before Baba's second coming as president of Nigeria, there was actually nothing at all like a billionaire in Nigeria in dollars.
Baba targeted to create 50 billionaires, but I think uh, he couldn't succeed in creating 50, but maybe he created 30. You have indeed proven yourself, and we pray that God and only him shall continue to reward you. And let me speak on behalf of my constituency. The only constituency, <laughs> we have a love-hate relationship. But because you are so special, Baba, we continue to allow you. And we are passing the motion again today. And all in favor that Baba can continue to say whatever he says against us. And we will accept it. Those in favor say aye. aye. Baba, we have allowed you. You have immunity to say anything you want to say against us. Whether it is true or it's not true, we will take it. Congratulations, sir. I wish you a great day. Thank you so much. After the messages, the APC National Chairman, Chief John Oyegun, proposed the toast. I mean, he came from an humble background, and today he's a force to be reckoned with. He's an elder statesman, and today we are celebrating him. I wish him many, many more years in good health, which is very important. Chief Obasanjo truly appreciates this gesture. I must confess I was surprised by what you have planned for this night. I really was. You laid out a bit of my life, including the prison experience. I want to thank corporate Nigeria who have laid this on and all of you who have contributed to this, I want to thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart. And then the funny side of him takes over. Now remains we'll we'll remains Alibaba. You know when I was in government and he was doing this thing, I thought he was doing it for free. The day I knew he was charging as much as half a million naira for coming to take a thing like this and joke and abuse me and all that. That's the day I said they should never call him again. Well, now they are calling him. The man is a rich man. Now, I've said one of these days I will come to your house. And you say you will come to mine too. Okay, you are invited to Olusha Mobas and your presidential library. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, uh, Juju music maestro King Sonny Ade was on the bandstand and he sure got the celebrant on his feet. And then he invites other guests to join him on the dance floor. Chief Olujeg Mobasanjo was born on the 5th of March 1937. The former Nigerian Army General was a career soldier before serving twice as the nation's head of state. As he celebrates, we wish him a glorious year. Wow, he looks like he enjoyed himself. Yes. You actually see him doing the dance of the <laughs> He beat. did, and he looks very energetic. Mm -hmm. That's the part I like. Yeah. So 80 happy chairs to you, sir.